Hi, Central Board of uh, Secondary Education CBSE and exam conducting authority of NEET has declared the exam pattern of NEET 2017. It is advisable for the candidates to completely go through the exam pattern because it helps in understanding the nature of syllabus, number of questions and marking questions etc. NEET 2017 is scheduled to be conducted on May 7, 2017 tentatively for offering admissions to MBBS and BDS program in government, private and deemed medical colleges, institutions and universities across India. Dear students, today I will discuss what is new in NEET 2017 application form, exam mode, number of questions, types of questions, syllabus, marking scheme, qualifying marks and NEET eligibility criteria etc. What is new in NEET 2017? As per the last order by Honorable Supreme Court, no other exam except NEET will be held for offering admissions into MBBS or BDS courses in India from the year 2017 except AIMS and JIPMER. All seats MBBS or BDS of any medical or dental college will be filled by the score of NEET examination only. All the Indian citizen candidates should possess Aadhaar card issued by UIADA. At the time of filling the application form of NEET 2017, the candidates will have to enter their Aadhaar number, name, date of birth and gender which will be validated with the UIDA's data. In case these particulars do not match, the candidates will not be able to fill the application form for NEET 2017. Therefore, the candidates are advised to ensure their Aadhaar card has correct details of their name, date of birth and gender as per school records. If there is some mismatch in these details, candidates should immediately get it corrected in Aadhaar data or school records. NEET 2017 can be written in 8 regional languages including English, Tamil, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Marathi and Telugu. Next is exam mode. The exam will be conducted in a pen and paper based format. Candidates will have to mark their responses in OMR answer sheet provided using a ballpoint pen. The stationery will be provided to candidates inside the examination hall. Next is number of questions. NEET 2017 question booklet will consist of 180 questions from all three subjects. Physics and Chemistry will consist of 45 questions each while Biology section will com comprise of 90 questions. Next is Types of Questions. NEET 2017 question paper will have objective types questions only which means each question will consist of 4 responses wherein candidates will choose the most appropriate answer from the given options. Questions will be based on NEET syllabus as prescribed by CBSE, the exam conducting authority. Next is syllabus. NEET 2017 question booklet will consist of multiple choice questions from physics, chemistry and biology taught during 10 plus 2 or higher secondary level after the review of various state syllabus as well as NCERT, CBSE and COBSE. Next is marking scheme. Each question in NEET 2017 question paper will consist of 4 marks for which correct response candidates will get 4 marks where 1 mark will be deducted for each incorrect response. No marks will be allotted for unmatched questions. Next is qualifying marks in NEET 2017. According to the official prospectus of NEET, in order to qualify NEET 2017, a candidate belonging to unreserved category have to secure a minimum of 50th percentile in NEET, while a SC, ST or OBSC candidate have to obtain 40th percentile. In respect to physically handicapped candidate, the minimum percentile is 44th. Next is NEET results. The NEET results of 2017 will be declared 
tentatively in the month of June 2017. The results will be declared in the form of scorecard consisting of candidate's name, percentile, 15% of in All India quota cutoff score, result status and All India rank etc. Next is need eligibility criteria. Candidates should be an Indian national or OCA that is overseas citizens of India. Next is age limit. The minimum age limit is 17 years on 31st of December of the year of submission. The maximum age limit is 25 years for general categories and 30 years for reserved categories. Next is qualification. Students must have passed or appearing 12 or equivalent examination from any recognized board with physics, chemistry, biology, biotechnology or any other elective subject with English. Next is percentage. Students must have secured a minimum of 50% marks in PCB group for general candidates and 45 percentile for general PH and 40% for SC, ST or OBC categories. Thank you and have a nice day.